I'm back. <clears throat> Oh, time to do an uh, any percent run. Three, two, one, go. Looks kind of weird. I like have a bunch of books on top of each other. It looks like I have a textbook at the very top, so like I can get the phone to like peek out from the books, so I can like have some room to put my DS on there and like still be able to play. Also, this is no reset, by the way. I did technically beat my old time with the 48-44, but that was off camera, so it doesn't count. I'm not counting it. Just because it's no reason doesn't mean you'll play it safe here. I'm gonna do some, I might as well do some dumb stuff. I literally have like, but between my playing and the world record, I have like 10 minutes of the week. So of course I'm gonna go for stuff like this. As far as that work. I mean that trick's basically just a gamble because it's sub-pixel. But sub-pixel is basically RNG. I don't know why I'm in the games. Learning sub-pixel setups. It's gonna be like half zone out. Mess up the blue shit. Please make it through the I guess you could say this is, no, this is an actual speedrun, this is hey, no, a quote-unquote speedrun BS. Just no reason. The volume of 3DS is very weird because it has a slider, but it like only has like five volume modes or like five or six volume modes. So like you can literally like hear one to like the side and shift and volume when you're sliding it up and down. But it's like now it's quiet, move it up slightly. quiet and it just changes it's weird Gosh, I, I need to actually play the game it's kind of hard to remember what you're doing when you're recording As you can tell, I'm not going for a world record. I'm alright.
You bastard. I just had to let go. This is painful. Okay. I could just like not go for it, but. Yeah, I might have to denote you know, this run, the quote unquote speed run. Still not reset it. <laughs> okay. I need time now. Sets, this really sets the tone for this run. I feel like I gotta grab a super picture ball just for shits and giggles. You fucker. I know I said no reset, but like, what if I did reset? Nah, because then I'm gonna be your option. After like repeatedly justifying resets. I swear, if I wasn't on camera, I would have gotten this trick like first try. <laughs> I promise. It's just, it's just, uh. Yeah, blame the camera. Maybe I should have done my practice run like this instead of like in a comfortable position like I did. You fucker. Get on the bed. Line up for the jump. I'm not using the box. Because I refuse to use the box. Bastard. There we go. Only took like two years. It's okay. Time safe for next run. Which will happen in like two months. Maybe two years, who knows? Ah, shit. I always hope a Diaz doesn't die before, <laughs> before he finishes the run. Because I don't know where my charger is. That would sure as hell would be a run killer. Maybe I shouldn't have done that practice run. Because I feel like the less I practice at this game, the better I do. Like, every time I practice for this game, I, like, end up fucking up miserably. But when I don't, I, like, do everything beautifully. I only make, like, a couple mistakes. Like, I don't remember practicing for that last 100% walk record where I did. And that run was damn good. Except for, like, the time when I fell and wasted, like, two minutes figuring out how to get back up. But, like, it's okay. It's still a good run. That's nice thing about this game, you can just mess up entirely. And like nobody plays, so like who cares? So we need a mod. <coughs> to whoever's watching this run, if it actually if my DS doesn't die beforehand before I finish. To whoever's gonna be verifying this run. Uh, sorry, I guess. Like I said, this run might not, might not actually finish. I'm gonna try it. And no, I'm not going for stomp out or shortcuts before you ask. As if I was talking to somebody. I'm literally just rambling. As always. But like in a quiet voice. Also, this game will not crash. I already tested it. I'm not playing on my cartridge. On the DK Epic cartridge. So I think we're fine. We should 
be fine. I lost again most of DS dice, like I said. But shh. Everything's fine. Definitely not gonna be like a whole ass minute behind. Although I think like in my 48, 44, I like wasted a minute trying to get the, uh, whatchamacallit clip or to skip in fucking down. It's like, it's a tractor skip. I don't, I don't think I actually ever gave it a name, even though I was the one who found it. Let's name it right now. Um. Like, what should I call it? I mean, tractor skip seems decent, but like, it's not cool enough. I mean, I guess JD found the route without a bounce minimum, he could name it. Yeah, I think I'll just call it tractor skip, honestly. It's easy. Wow, look at this. I'm like two minutes behind my 48 minute run. This will be a fun, fun speed run. Quote unquote speed run. Honestly, I might still upload this if I, if, even if it does die. The game does, the battery does die. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, it's probably not gonna last a whole run. As optimistic as I like to be, I don't think it's happening. And I'm not playing this shit on DS, so I'm good. Alright. Cause the same thing's gonna happen. I always dealt during. If the battery dies. And like upload this like caption titled LOL or something stupid like that. Or like trolling. That's what I'll title it. Trolling. Alright, two minutes thirty-three seconds ahead. Off to a great start. I'm going to save no time in the split whatsoever. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't mess up anything. And then practice today I messed up the trampoline skip, which I almost never do. So uh yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any time save here. I was watching a 42 minute run that JD did. He still does not use that track board skip. I mean, shit. There's a lot of strats that I use that he doesn't. Still. Alright, nice. I'm not gonna go for stomp hovers. No stomp hovers. This is not that one terrible 1 0 run. One run I did where I like went for every stomp hover, for, stomp hover skip and like <laughs> wasting like three minutes. And that was when sub hour was basically free. Like that was after triple skip was found. I mean, this is a terrible move right now. Might save like a second or two. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll save like a couple seconds. I should at least, because right now it's plus 135 and counting. I can make it over there in a minute. I trust my abilities. Although it is, I do split after the uh, text, so. 
We'll see. I don't remember how long it takes. Imagine it shits off the camera. Cool. Yeah, should save like five seconds roughly here. Alright, save 13 seconds. That's split. What if I went for caster right here for you clip that events? That would be funny. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, no, I'm still uploading this, even if the battery dies, I don't care. Not just Peter, I got Chrome, but the YouTube. Yeah, no, I gotta do it like a stupid name, make sure it like gets no views whatsoever. I like how that actually is probably saved me a couple seconds. Because I still got the two cycle. So. be like right here yeah that should be it i always make sure i line up with the tree so that's usually the correct way all right hopefully this works i'll just air on the side of caution because i really don't want to fall here and if i end up on the roof it's fine yeah because i can just do that Easy peasy. Alright, golden on that split. Nice. I'm gonna chip off another seven seconds from my disadvantage. So now it's plus 213. Okay, looking good. Based on pacing, we're roughly a third of the way through. Hopefully the battery will last. <coughs> Hopefully. Imagine if I like get to like the very end and the TS dies. That would be like the saddest thing. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I cannot see it all. There we go. I hate that the camera angle for that one. Like I mean the fact that it's lined up so you only have to press down and right makes it easy, but at the same time the top down just kills your depth perception. Especially when I am already kind of blind. Right, I'm gonna go for fourth touch skip. Hopefully, I'll do what I did in practice and activate the cutscene. Okay. Yeah, I know. Didn't get it. It's fine. Hopefully I'll save some time here too. Well, I'm not sure. I, 
think I did have a pretty bad recess in this run and my 48 run. So I don't know, maybe I can come back for my two minute time deficit. But I don't know. Look, sometimes you just gotta go for the swag set. One breath. Okay. No split here. I just gotta wait. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a quick body skip. Also, a Ford. Yeah. I mean, I'll talk about more in the rock when I get there. We're in the rock climbing. I'm not, if I miss the clip, I'm gonna restart and go back. Because really only lose five seconds because from backtracking because the checkpoint's right there. So I figured it'd just be quicker to reset and try again rather than go through that. I saw what happened in JD's recent runs. That minigame just does not like him at all. I might lose some time here. I mean, I got like a minute and 13 sec, five seconds to get over there. They'll do it. I believe in them. I believe. Okay, if I can make it to like halfway through a run before the battery starts flashing, I think I'll be fine. I love the drum, the drums here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some time. Decent amount of time, too. Look at that. So, yeah, it's definitely worth the go for fourth child skip at least once, I think. Because, like, if you don't, if you get it, awesome, you save five seconds. If not, oh well. So it's more like 10 seconds saved. Oh, look at that, new gold. Okay. Let's put this rope. Because, you know, it's kind of tricky. You have to, like, jump away from it a little bit. Or get it. Right, come on, game. Get it to me. This isn't like practice where I like got fucking. Okay, there we go. Five times isn't that bad. That was pretty good. Okay. But yeah, since there's a checkpoint right here, and it's simply like a six second, seven second detour. If I mess this up, I'm gonna just reset, set it, because it's still like a trick that saves 30 seconds. Yeah, keep that in mind. There we go. Ah, oh, you fucker.
Okay, I'm way too high. <laughs> Just a little too high. That's okay, I can climb down. Yeah, no, a little readjustment doesn't hurt. Yeah, no, I think I saved a good amount of time. Because I just, my split just turned red. So yeah, I think I saved like a minute here, which is awesome. And I didn't get hit by any garbage, which is great. All right, let's see where I am. Yeah, I'm a little high. I think I'm a little high. There we go. All right, cool. No, not yet. Okay, let's still master some text. Okay, I didn't save exactly a minute here. Well, I saved close to a minute. Yeah, no. Plus 105 now, which is a lot more bearable. Okay, just started flashing. I think I can make it, honestly. I'm gonna try. And like I said, if I don't, I'll just upload the YouTube with some stupid, just run the YouTube with some stupid title. And like, watch, watch if you want to. I'll see, I guess it's a new strat. Nice. That was a quick one. All right, do I want to try climbing the food? That wasn't bad. Not terrible. Okay, so if I can't... Okay, so I have six minutes to beat Star Command. I mean, the buzz level from where we had. And I know I... Blood major time in the next level, so this, I'm still in this. I can still be my 48, and I'm in a course, I'm gonna be my 53. I mean, come on! Oh no, I'm so close to not beating my 53. It's literally like 27 minutes, and, like 27 minutes. I'm already in like I'm basically already in the end game. I'm noticing the limitations of my setup now. It's really damn hard to see. I'm just gonna pray. Especially for like that one, like I couldn't even see it. I mean, granted, I don't really look to hit that one. But like the health thing's pulling into the background too. Like I gotta stand on top of over top. Or like look down. To see anything. <clears throat> Alright, that's the level. You know what, if it does die, I mean, I guess I'll be okay. Because, like I said, I literally lost two minutes. <laughs> in the intro because of my stubbornness. To hit this trick that only saves like five seconds max. Decent. Let's see what my RNG here on Rex is. And also yes, I do think that this is aren't that the boss house is RNG. I don't think you can actually manipulate it. This is my conclusion. 
because like I started to notice like the boxes had like two or three patterns and like these different with their different patterns they die at different times like I think Rex has two, Slinky has two, and Ham has two and they're both either slow or fast patterns might be a bit more complex with that but based on what I've seen I think that's what it actually is like here I got the slow pattern and in my practice I got the fast pattern on Rex Cause like he'll always die either there by the rock or like in the second arena. You know? Are you fucking kidding me? How did I miss that guy? Get that guy. Get that guy. 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 And it should be level. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I think I'm not actually. Yeah, I'll get it. At least get closer to being ahead. And I can easily push ahead in the next level. Like I said, unless my thing dies. Which is really unfortunate. Because I'm hanging in there. Alright, just trying to pick up shit. Just a couple seconds. This one, please don't have my suit. I'll just use two. Okay, that was a big hit. Give me help. Never mind, I guess. I guess I don't need that. Whatever. And here I got a fast pattern, it looks like. Yeah, I got a fast pattern. So he should die like on the side. Because if you get the slow pattern, he dies like closer to you. Or in the fast pattern, he dies totally to back. And here I also figure out something because always for the second one, I always end up shooting it by accident. But if you aim at the guy's toes, you will hit it. And then you just have to make sure you don't hit it again when you just pick it up and keep going. And the third one just always just ends up there at a wall. And shoot again. Yeah, I used to hate this though, but now it's pretty fun actually. To like figure once I figure out where all the fast shots are, you can just pick one up and like absolutely mow through everything yeah the game might die before i finish it's fine i'm still uploading this to youtube like i said and i am like literally probably looking to be 30 seconds ahead coming out of this level which is incredible considering how i was starting this off like two and a half minutes behind uh shoot that guy sure I still don't really have like a decent strat for this level. I kind of just like bully everyone at the wall. Bully everyone down these tunnels and kind of hope and kind of just like pray for the rest. Because it's kind of hard to get a fast shot in this level, especially with the strategy that I use. Yeah, this next level will definitely be interesting. Yeah, it's sort of probably faster if I shot the bombs. Because they kind of get in the way. Like, I'm sure to shoot the health, because I know that, like, can be messing with, with you. When he's down here. But shooting the bombs might be a good idea. And I think this is a slow pattern, too. Because this is pretty damn slow. There we go. I remember if you like suck enough of this game, which I used to. But then you could go back upstairs. Oh shit, it's what? Okay. Now I am 9.4, only 9.4 seconds behind. So I basically completely made up my 
made up any time lost just through pure skill and, I mean of course as well the game's gonna die I mean Diaz is gonna die before I finish this but like yeah I definitely do think I can get a pretty good run right, let's see if I can hit this because I remember struggling with this in practice Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. I don't really know like the fastest way to navigate. I just always hold down right. I was playing around with like holding right when he goes right, holding down when he goes up, or like goes right and right when he goes down. But this works. I am gonna do this though. Can't see the momentum. It's a little scary. <coughs> Did that. Yeah. Now you're like sitting very pretty. First one. 35, 30, 35 minutes, 40 seconds. I mean, the game's, like I said, the game's probably gonna die, but like, this is, this is pretty good. I think I might have mentioned earl earlier something about going for that respawn glitch in this level. But like, I have to remember the route, and it's like a pretty tight route, too. You can only get hit so many times and like have to miss a certain amount of things. And like, if you mess up, then you're done for. And then you have to restart the whole off score back from here. And that's a run killer. There's no coming back from that. It's like two minutes of time lost right down the drain for only a two second time save. And it's a swag two second time save though. And I wonder what would happen if you set it up so you die right when you hit the very end. I wonder if anything would happen. It's interesting when you like stop playing the game for six months or like a couple months and then come back to like be rest and it feels like you like learn more about the game because like this game isn't like a super popular game so of course we don't know everything about it but like the speedrun in this game is still very forgiving Like, you don't have to, the Sega Ready Player's Front is still pretty unoptimized. I mean, granted, it's literally held by someone I don't even think did, like, three runs, has done, like, three runs of this game in completion. Someone who literally just came on for, like, two days and dipped, and I've, and I've never heard from them since. Good very well just I don't know. And the world record was held by GD, who's probably a lot better in this game, skill-wise, than I am. Or a decent bit, I guess. I could probably take the world record, but I just don't feel like it. TX resets for his runs, I don't. Shoot, half the time I don't even practice, I just pop on, turn the timer on, like, alright, let's go. I might do like one playthrough of the game as practice. I don't want to practice too much because I feel like that like ruins whatever like zone flow state I had going. Because like when I'm playing this game, I'm kind of just like zoned out for the rest of the game. And like I might screw up, but like I can usually improvise better. 
my movement's a bit tighter, stuff like that. But when, like once I start practicing more and more, I get start getting tilted. And I like start bleeding a lot of time. Over like dumb mistakes. Or I'll like get hung up over dumb mistakes that don't really matter. And uh, just kind of get pissed off to the point where I can't even function in the game properly. Like I'll get hung up the very first five seconds of a level. And I uh, and like once it gets to that point, it's like, okay, I gotta take a step back. Oh, I gotta go for the swag strat. Okay, please don't die before I do the swag strat. It's, it wastes time, but it's cool, funny. Let's see. Swag buzz. Basically, you can just, by pausing and exiting, pause really quick, you can ignore the fade out and just see buzz. Look like, oh, it split. Never mind. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm stupid. It's okay. Time to save for next room, alright? Watch me have, like, an absurd garbage dump. Known the man. Yeah, no, DS is probably gonna die any minute now. But, like, this was a pretty good run. I am impressed with myself. For sure. Unless it take, like, seven minutes of dump. <laughs> At that point, it's like, what the fuck? That, what what happened? Because right now it's 41 minutes. So, like, I think I'm definitely ahead of my 48 at this point. Especially since I haven't even implemented, I don't even think I've implemented the oh shit. The brand new dump skip. I always fuck up that trick. I don't know why. It's like my kryptonite. I feel like every runner in this game has to have like that one level that just absolutely tortures them. For JD, I know it's Bonnie's. I, mean, I don't think he's actually said it, but for me, it's definitely just level. I just I have so many bad memories of losing runs terribly at this level. Like usually when I fuck up Royal Leads, usually here. Although, I guess in this case, it was in the first hole. Alright, that should be good. Please. Overlord. You bastard. That could go. One, two, three. Four, thirty-five, six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and yeah, that's good enough. Maybe like a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I just have to fingers crossed that my DS holds on for like the minute and a half it takes to get to uh the thing. And also yeah, I completely made up any time lost. I'm like way ahead now. It's like 4320. And it takes like a minute. Probably like a minute from here I'll be where I need to be. It's like I'll probably end up with like a 4420. Granted my DS doesn't die in the minute time frame it takes to finish the run from here. I mean it's held on pretty well. Surprisingly. I just felt like it went too far. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry about it. Whatever. I mean, that would probably kill the run because you can't do that shit as a Woody. You can't do the gauntlet as a Woody. I've tried. That doesn't work. Come on. 
Okay, I know you can do it. My game. I need a hero. I won't never do this just to knock them down. It's gotta be strong and it's gotta be fast and it's gotta be fast. I don't know if that's a word. I mean, of course, in ad libbing, but like. No! What the f? No! Alright. Whatever. I was literally like one second off. Alright, I'll just have to pray. That I can actually do this. I think there is a flying section. No! Oh, bitch. Okay, maybe. Okay. Come on. No way I'm giving up right now. I'm not giving up. Maybe I could say with Stump Popper. Come on. Maybe over here. Okay, what the f Classic DK Epic L. Like honestly, like what what do you expect? This one would have been like a forty. So um, I mean, this run was terrible, but like this is just mean. All right, I'm gonna go for a stomp cover. It's like literally the only way I could save this. Maybe? Let's fucking go. Alright. Frame perfect trick for the win. That was like the dumbest way I could have lost time. But whatever. That's what you get for sticking with a run till the end. Alright. King of improv. That was stupid. Alright. 47.06. That was like the best worst run I've ever done of this game. Okay, let's recount the events. Pretty good train. Was really stubborn, lost two minutes. Because I was trying to go for a box, let's jump, whatever thing. Clawed my way back, had like, I had like four golds in this, like five golds in this split. Yeah, no. Save time in garbage, in uh, garage day, or garbage day. Golded in Woody's escape. Golded in Reese's is over. Golded in freaking Bonnie's. Golded in, in Buzz Mission. I don't know what, how much I saved in Woody's return because I skipped, cause, but I think I saved like a minute. I somehow fucked up the uh, super dumb skip. And I had to improvise with a frame perfect trick and still ended up like, a minute and 30 seconds golding with like a minute and 30 seconds ahead seven seconds ahead at 47 of six new pp and my ds held out <laughs> Fuck that all right i guess i should show the time might be something i want to do uh yeah 47 of six very cool dumbest run of all time we'll take it 